story time about how I got fired for telling my boss that I loved him. Part two. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I repeat, this is not my story time. That's when he went away for two weeks on a business trip and I was so sad. And that's when I realized I was in love with him. Like truly, madly, and deep. And I only knew that because I wasn't flirting with anybody else. I was only thinking about him and waiting for him to come back. So during those two weeks, I took advantage and I started going to the gym every single day. I mean, I worked there, so I started working out like crazy. He happened to mention that he loves girls with abs. So I basically went on a 500 calorie deficit and I was pretty skinny by the time he got back. I would not recommend this to anybody because it's absolutely treacherous. I love food and I was always in a bad mood until he came back. The next time he saw me at the gym, I looked phenomenal. He walked up to me and said, oh my God, I missed you so much and you look fucking amazing. I melted into a puddle. The following day, he and I both opened the gym together and of course, I brought him his favorite smoothie and he asked me if we could catch up. If I had been dating anybody while he'd been gone. The fact that this man was already jealous after not seeing me for two weeks let me know that he was vibing me just as much as I was vibing him. So I did the logical thing and I said, yeah. He looked at me dead in the face and said, why are you going to date somebody when you have me? I was so shook, I actually didn't know what to say and he laughed. Then he said, oh, you know, I'm just joking. I'm just messing with you. And I said, no, you're not. You actually meant that, didn't you? And that's when we just both stared at each other without saying a single word. I actually thought he was going to kiss me, but he didn't. Then he confessed that he was so attracted to me that he didn't know if I should stay working there. I told him that we could just simply stay away from each other so that I wouldn't have to quit. He said that that's not going to work for him because he actually wanted to see me and talk to me all the time. After that, I could tell that he was mustering up the courage to kiss me or to do something, but he was scared. Go to part three.